Yo, the fuck is up peeps? Today I'm discussing my top five camera accessories for under $100. Before we get into these five accessories, let me introduce myself. I'm Polly DeFuck, US Navy veteran, entrepreneur, content creator, and performing artist. And I've been running my own media company called PFD Media for about four plus years now. And I absolutely love what I do. And I'm very blessed to be able to do what I do. We work with a wide range of clients from businesses to event venues to even performing artists themselves. To say I'm blessed is an understatement. Anyway, before we get into the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, hit that noty bell so you're notified when I upload, share with a peep, and while you're sharing with a peep, make sure you check on a peep because we never know what somebody's mental health is. Last but not least, uh, if you'd like to click any of the links in the description for these items, they go to links that support the channel. Um, none of these items are sponsored. They are just items I bought with my own money and they're items I use consistently and constantly on a daily basis as a content producer. So let's dive in. HP serves a different but highly essential purpose. First, we have the Rode Video Micro compact on-camera microphone with a Rycote Lyre shock mount. This little microphone is an amazing upgrade from the onboard camera microphone, because we all know that is not always your best option. This little camera, I, I, I use this camera microphone consistently. I use it for events, I use it for vlogs. Um, the small form factor is easy to fit into the camera bag, as well as the mount allows for cleaner audio from bumps the camera may take, or just from basic camera music. It comes with the Dead Cat windscreen, which is awesome. Um, that just helps take down some of the wind noise or any extra noise that might be going around, uh, as well as the 3.5 millimeter cable that runs from the back of the microphone into your camera, requires no batteries, and it just runs off the camera power. Uh, this is a no-brainer if you're trying to upgrade your vlog or event coverage and try to get a little bit cleaner audio. Up next, we have the Ivis G2 portable camera bicolor LED RGB 9 flash effect rechargeable LED light. This thing is a no-brainer for me. I have two of them. One lives in my camera bag constantly. The other one, you know, obviously stays at the office. Everything stays at the office, generally, unless I'm traveling. Then I'll try to bring as many of these. Um, they are awesome. You can set them up on the camera via a cold shoe adapter. You could set them up on tripods. You can set them up on light stands. You can use them as a main light. You can use them as an accent light, as you're seeing in the background. Um, the bright LED on the back end when it's actually lit up. Let me just turn it on. You can see it's very bright and easy to read. You can easily fine tune the details using the dial settings. Uh, also comes with a quick uh, quick light increase. So you from zero, you can uh, quickly press in the top dial, get to 10, 25, 50, 75, and 100, back down to zero. So if you're running gunning, you need to quickly change the light setting. You don't have to sit there and like just scroll the dial consistently. However, if you have the time and you can fine tune your dial settings, you can do that as well. The nine color effects or the nine effects comes with range from police lights to television lights to lightning. And those are amazing to use for any type of special effects you're trying to do as well as the RGB feature is amazing, especially if you're using accent lights like I am. Um, the multifunction bracket is absolutely a no-brainer. Um, the ability to quickly put this on top of the camera for an event and then still be able to attach a microphone or monitor or anything else to my camera that I may need um, is just remarkable. And because of that, I use these all the time. And fun fact, they are what lit the room in Vegas for the Whiskey Kiss music video with frequency. Moving from video center accessories to photo accessories, we have the newer TT560 Speedlight. And this has become a necessity for me, uh, being a micro four-third shooter. 
Uh, I work in a lot of event spaces and low light conditions because not every venue, event, <laughs> or business is going to have the most adequate lighting conditions for me as a photographer when I'm providing that service to my clients. So throwing on a speed light means I don't have to rely on the standard stage lighting or lighting from inside the building. I could throw this on, it has the pop out bounce, so it's nice and easy. I don't have to carry a whole bunch of gear. Uh, it takes four AA batteries. It does have the remote option on it, and obviously your mode test on off switch, hot shoot of a camera. So uh, if anybody has ever shot in low light conditions, you know, generally the lower the light, the more you need to, more length of time you need to give your aperture or your, excuse me, your shutter and, uh, to actually capture the image to give it as much light to actually lighten it up. Well, if you have a subject moving in frame, at a longer shutter speed, you're going to be, you know, catching a lot of blur. So throwing a speed light on top of the camera, help increase the light and catch those movements is just, it's always a no brainer. Uh, like I said, link to this item and the others in the description below. Moving forward. From accessories that improve your videos or photos with additional light to an accessory that will protect your photos or videos from harsh light. Um, when you're shooting in broad daylight or you're outside at any, any time and you're dealing with outside conditions, uh, it can be very hard to get the proper exposure on your lens if you're not in a studio setup. You're battling the elements and at times it's a bright sunny day. What can you do? Um, one of the things you can do is you can add variable ND. Essentially, it's kind of like sunglasses for your camera lens. It'll help fix your exposure without you having to tamper too much with your aperture or your shutter speed to get those images that you want. Especially if you're shooting um, a video, you know, at times you, you wanna try and stick to the 180 rule as much as possible. You don't wanna cut down your aperture because then it's gonna take away from your image. And if you're trying to capture the most high quality image, trying to have a tool that can actually assist with lowering the amount of harsh light is always better than not having anything at all. Um, these filters come in a range of sizes. You can be, that will be dictated by the front of your camera lens. Um, this is a 62 ring, uh, goes in accordance with the lens that I'm actually shooting on right now. Variable ND, this one is particularly too tough 400. They have them all the way up to 10,000 for ultra bright conditions. Uh, they have them in variable and non-variable lenses and the company Gobe that actually makes this filter will plant up to five trees per every item you buy from them. So uh, I have three separate camera lens filters that all came from Gobe that I personally bought and I've planted 15 trees in areas heavily impacted by deforestation. Not to mention this is made from 100% recycled goods, which is amazing and really helpful to the environment. Yet again, not being paid to say any of this. You know, these are my personal feelings, personal gear that I've bought. I like link in the descriptions below and I will get a commission off that if you do buy. However, not being sponsored by anybody. Last but not least is the Consite 323 quick release plate. And I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. This little thing is awesome, uh, especially for moments when you need to you know, replace a battery and a camera like I did five seconds ago. And thanks to this being on the tripod and the bottom of the camera body, I was able to do it quickly and effectively without having to take any type of tool out to take off a, a plate and get it out of the way. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, this thing is awesome. The the top plate sits on the bottom of a camera, gives you a little instruction on the bottom of it, it's telling you which direction the lens should go. Um, there's two separate settings for the lens to sit, uh, depending on the body, you can sit one way or the other, and this screws into the the uh, quarter inch screw, screws right into the bottom of your camera, um, as you can see, and then the mounting bracket actually sits on support equipment. So. I have this on almost every piece of support equipment I have from tripods to wall mounts to Gorillapod. And I could quickly switch between either camera on any of those uh, mounts because uh, both camera bodies have it. I can quickly take it off and go to run and gun. I could, you know, just switch out setups completely. It is so fast. Um, and it's really great because when you push down the plate, it has this locking pin that will instantly lock the camera in place, and then you have a secondary safety, which is going to ensure that that lever does not come undone until you undo that safety. So your camera's safe, no issues. All right, peeps, that wraps up my top five camera accessories for under $100 that I use constantly. And like I said before, if you wanted to purchase any of the gear, please check the links in the description below because it goes to supporting the channel. No, this video was not sponsored. It was not being paid to say anything that I said. What's a piece of gear you're going to be using from this list? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, if you could do me a favor, if you found any value, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that noti bell, 
share with a peep. And when you're sharing with a peep, check on their mental health and see how they're doing. You never know what you'll be able to hear. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace the fuck out. Bye.